My name is Olu Soji Oyaoye. I feel honored to be amongst you in Lasso here, courtesy Nigeria's finest and best state university, the Lagos State University. By the way, I am a honorary alumni of Lasso. My alma mater, Federal Government College Lagos, Ijaniki, was situated temporarily in the Lasso compound, then Government College, Ojo, from September 1976 to December 1976. We moved out for a brief period just to accommodate the first Act 77 program holding in that axis when traffic was a, a bit too much going to school. And we moved back into the compound in April 1977 before we moved finally to our permanent site in the early 80s. From the theme of this TEDx Lagos State University talk, Equilibrium, I plan to share on business in Nigeria. The positives outweigh the negatives. Contrary to what most people think and practice, there are more positives than negatives in doing business in Nigeria. Starting and running a successful business in Nigeria is simple. Note that I didn't say it's easy. It is very simple with great potentials and opportunities. It's simple to start and run a business in Nigeria because the template to use and follow is all out there in the open. Just Google it and it's free. Let me share a bit about myself to drive home my conviction about negating the negatives out there in pursuit of your purpose and your desires. I am driven by a desire to reset people's brains and spur them on to become who they are really created to be. I've been doing that now for 20 years, and I dare say with great success. Nothing in my origin, in my background, or my past foreshadowed my current status. I am from a little town called Iludu in Kwara State, Nigeria. I failed my work, West, that's the West African Examination Council Secondary School exam, that first attempt. All failures. I repeated the exam a year after and barely scaled through with the lowest pass mark possible. But then, that was not good enough. I failed entry into examination in my environment. It's called Joint Admission Matriculation Board, JAM. So I had to go to a polytechnic. And from the polytechnic, through remedial classes, I finally got into university. But guess what? I ended up again graduating with a third class. A failure, I would say. By providence, though, I got a job in the banking industry after graduation. Based more on the right attitude and a drive to see the positives in challenges, not academic merit or brilliance. So my first attempt at learning were great failures. While excellent results at first attempt is great, some of us are just not cut out for academic excellence. That's what my experience has been. The challenge often though is that we were constrained to study what our parents want us to study, rather than where our strength and passion lies, where we may have excelled if we were allowed to pursue our own dreams. But what I have failed to learn in school, I have since learned from the school of life, the best school you can ever go to. And in the school of life, by the way, I have a first class distinction. It is there that I began to learn how to truly succeed, how to overcome failure, how to negate the negatives in one's path. For 14 years now, I have been an entrepreneur, running four thriving businesses, employing thousands of staff in Nigeria and Ghana. Why are the negatives about doing businesses in Nigeria so rife? From my experience, I have discovered three reasons why. One, we confuse our hobby for a business. So most people start businesses just because they enjoy it. But a business is not a hobby. Secondly, we confuse entrepreneurship with business. Now, while an entrepreneur is also a business driver, a business driver is not necessarily an entrepreneur. A business driver basically starts and runs a business with a profit motive in mind. For an entrepreneur, the primary objective is to provide solutions for problems out there. Then those who have those problems pay the entrepreneur who eventually makes money. 
So entrepreneurship is more risk-based. Three, we give up easily and accept all the negatives out there. To run a business successfully in Nigeria, and I dare say anywhere in the world, you must have clarity on what problems you are solving. You must have clarity on what audience you're serving. A business that tries on anybody or everybody is not a winning strategy for any business. Yes, I know there are so many negatives out there. I am not downplaying them either. That is why it's not easy to run a business in Nigeria, but it is simple to run a business in Nigeria. What are the negatives inhibiting businesses in Nigeria? Businesses in Nigeria are under a chokehold that is growing in intensity every day. You have the border closures, you have punitive regulations, rising impute costs, foreign exchange instability, rising taxes, weak and inadequate infrastructure, and a lot more. So I get it. What are the positives enhancing businesses in Nigeria? Even with the current trend of things in the country, the positives outweigh the negatives. The positives outweigh the negatives. The positives outweigh the negatives. Nigeria is a country blessed with human, mineral and natural resources. Nigeria now ranks 131 out of 191 on the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business 2020 Index. That is moving up 15 places from our position in 2019. Oh yes, there's still a long way to go. But that's some progress. That's some progress where I stand. Nigeria is actually tagged as one of the most improved economies in the world for running a business. Only last month, August 2020 to be precise, after 30 years, President Buhari signed into law an amended Companies and Allied Matters Bill generally further making it easier to incorporate and start a business in Nigeria. A country with a growing population of over 200 million citizens assures success as long as the business feels a need, solves a problem in the country and the strategies adopted are right. The non-oil sector has been the main driver of growth in recent year years, thanks to the failing of failing and falling oil prices. The economy is first diversifying and is becoming more service oriented, in particular through retail and wholesale trade, real estate, information and communication. How do I start a business in Nigeria? Again, all content required is online. And again, they are free on Google, including examples of those who are running successful businesses in Nigeria to learn from. The best way to succeed from my experience actually is to look for a successful business in the sector or industry you seek. Then benchmark them. You benchmark them. Better still, study them to see the gaps in the solutions they provide. Then move to fill those gaps. How do I make money from my business in Nigeria? Money always responds to value. Money always responds to value. Those negatives are actually problems seeking for solutions. The more problems you solve with your product or service, the more money will flow your way. And the solutions do not need to be complicated. In fact, they usually are not. Quoting Charlie Munger, take a simple idea and take it seriously. Take a simple idea and take it seriously. However, next to the idea, you have to put a great team in place. Quoting again, this time Ed Catmill, if you give a good idea to a mediocre team, they will screw it up. But if you give a mediocre idea to a brilliant team, they will either fix it or throw it away and come up with something better. So you need to get a good idea, but also build a good team around the idea. To succeed in business in Nigeria, your business has to be value focused. It's the problems you solve that attracts value from the customer. You must be consistent also with the solutions you provide. So each time someone buys from you, they need to have the same experience in a consistent manner. Thirdly, you should be collaborative instead of competing. No one person acting alone ever achieves anything great. So learn to collaborate. 
Four, you have to be responsible to all stakeholders, your staff, your owners, the community you work from as well. What kills businesses in Nigeria? There are four things from my experience that kills businesses in Nigeria. The first is not recognizing staff as your greatest asset. Your staff are your greatest assets. Without motivated and trained staff, your business can't last. Secondly, failure to train your staff continuously, including the management. No business can grow beyond the knowledge of the drivers. That's the law of the lead. The business cannot grow beyond the knowledge of the drivers. So you must consistently train your staff, including your management. Thirdly, not being focused on sustaining customer experience. There's nothing called customer service. What there is, is the experience a customer has each time they come in contact with your business, either in the physical or these days online, as it is. So you must ensure the experience is consistently focused. Fourthly, not planning for succession. Oh, this kills a lot of businesses. No matter how gifted you are as the MD CEO or the owner, the natural law of nature there will be diminishing returns. So you must put in place a succession plan. Who is going to take over when you're gone, or when you're too old, either in your thinking or in your physical state? These are the four things that kills businesses in Nigeria. As I begin to wrap up, it is painful that the few that are in business in Nigeria, particularly those that strive to meet tax obligations, are the ones that are harassed most by government. Policymakers should explore ways to further move Nigeria up the ease of doing business ladder. The more businesses there are, the more citizens will be employed. The more citizens that are employed, the more spending that there will be in the environment. The more spending that takes place, the more economic activity there will be in the country. The more economic activity there is from the spending, the more taxes government will get. So it is in government's interest to ensure that the ease of doing business is sustained and consistently improved upon. I strongly advise that you invest in Nigeria because the positives far outweigh the negatives. Nigeria is Africa's most populous and fastest growing economy. However, if you are still skeptical about this, the likes of Aliko Dangote, Micah Denuga, Jim Ovia, Femi Otedola, and my humble self, Soji Oyawe, should prove to you that Nigeria is a gold mine when it comes to doing business profitably.